Continuation chart patterns are technical price behaviors, in which, after a short consolidation phase, price continues to follow the current main trend. The main continuation chart patterns are flags and wedges. Flags are short phases of consolidation, that occur in the opposite direction of the main trend, and are characterized by two phases. In the first phase, we have a rapid rise or fall of prices depending on the current trend. In the second phase, we have oscillatory price movements, contained in a limited range of price, also known as the flag. The flag is therefore tilted downwards or upwards, depending on the current trend, and bounded by two parallel lines which represent the support and the resistance levels. Once the flag has finished its short correction, price will resume following its initial trend. Wedges are continuation patterns, that can be found in both an uptrend and a downtrend. Wedges form when price corrects from the current trend, and moves into a phase of price consolidation, creating highs and lows that become tighter and tighter. The bullish wedges have the apex of the triangle pointing downwards. The bearish wedges have the apex of the triangle pointing upwards. Once a continuation pattern has been identified, it is important to understand the possible targets of the trade, meaning to study where to place the take profit and the stop loss correctly. To determine the take profit of a continuation pattern, simply calculate the length of the bullish or bearish movement before the consolidation phase, and double it. The stop loss will always be positioned above or below the pattern that has been created. Hello traders, in this video we are going to analyze how to trade pullbacks in a bullish trend. First of all it is important to understand, that a bullish trend is created when price forms higher highs, and higher lows. A bullish trend line is a support zone, created by a minimum of two consecutive higher lows, that is drawn diagonally on the chart. In a bullish trend, we are going to only open trades following the main direction. This means that we are only going to look at buying the asset, at every new higher low formed. As we can see in the chart, price is pushing to the upside, and retracing to support after every push. Price always moves in waves, and this will help us to enter in the market with a good risk-reward ratio. When price retraces creating an opportunity to buy, we need a list of confluences to support our trading idea. The main confluences to look at, when buying for a continuation of the upside movement are The retest of support, retest of trend line, bullish price action confirmation, price key level, oversold indicator, and Fibonacci retracement to 50% or 61.8%. Another important factor to keep into consideration, is the awareness of important financial data that could be released. During a bullish trend it is always important to open positions following the upside momentum, because they will give the best risk-reward opportunity. Opening short positions during an uptrend, will usually give a risk-reward of 1 to 1, and provide much more risk. Hello traders, in this video we are going to analyze how to trade pullbacks in a bearish trend. First of all it is important to understand, that a bearish trend is created when price forms lower highs, and lower lows. A bearish trend line is a resistance zone, created by a minimum of two consecutive lower highs, that is drawn diagonally on the chart. In a bearish trend, we are going to only open trades following the main direction. This means that we are only going to look at selling the asset, at every new lower high formed. As we can see in the chart, price is pushing to the downside, and retracing to resistance after every push. Price always moves in waves, and this will help us to enter in the market with a good risk-reward ratio. When price retraces creating an opportunity to sell, we need a list of confluences to support our trading idea. The main confluences to look at, when selling for a continuation of the downside movement are The retest of resistance, retest of trend line, bearish price action confirmation, price key level, overbought indicator, and Fibonacci retracement to 50% or 61.8%. Another important factor to keep into consideration, is the awareness of important financial data that could be released. During a bearish trend it is always important to open positions following the downside momentum, because they will give the best risk-reward opportunity. Opening long positions during a downtrend, will usually give a risk-reward of 1 to 1, and provide much more risk. In this video we are going to look at the bullish channel. The bullish channel is simply a trending market range, that is found diagonally on the chart. A trending market range is created diagonally, and price is trapped between a diagonal resistance and diagonal support levels. A bullish channel represents a bullish trend, with higher highs and higher lows that maintain a consistent and similar distance between each other, so that two lines can be plotted on the chart, one above and one below. In a bullish channel traders can open positions by buying at support, and selling at resistance. Positions should always primarily follow the main trend, 
but in cases in which a channel is formed, giving a good risk-reward ratio and price action confirmation, it is also possible to open positions in the opposite direction. To enter a trade, in both directions, it is always best to add other important confluences, such as oversold and overbought indicators, key price levels, financial data awareness, Fibonacci levels, and strong price action confirmation. Hello traders, in this video we are going to look at the bearish channel. The bearish channel is simply a trending market range, that is found diagonally on the chart. A trending market range is created diagonally, and price is trapped between a diagonal resistance and diagonal support levels. A bearish channel represents a bearish trend, with lower highs and lower lows that maintain a consistent and similar distance between each other, so that two lines can be plotted on the chart, one above and one below. In a bearish channel traders can open positions by buying at support, and selling at resistance. Positions should always primarily follow the main trend, but in cases in which a channel is formed, giving a good risk-reward ratio and price action confirmation, it is also possible to open positions in the opposite direction. To enter a trade, in both directions, it is always best to add other important confluences, such as oversold and overbought indicators, key price levels, financial data awareness, Fibonacci levels, and strong price action confirmation. Hello traders, in this video we are going to analyze the bullish ascending triangle. The ascending triangle is a bullish chart pattern, that is found during a continuation of an uptrend, and it is made up of a horizontal resistance line, and a diagonal support line. The ascending triangle is a consolidation pattern where the highs remain the same, whilst the lows consistently move higher, until they become very close to the highs, and eventually break the resistance level for a trend continuation. By looking at the chart, we can see that price is moving upwards, until it reaches its first rejection at the resistance level. Price then heads to the downside creating a higher low. Once again, price moves to the upside, and finds rejection at the same resistance level as before. Price then retraces to the downside, and creates another higher low. Price pushes back to the upside, but still can't break the resistance level. Price then moves downwards, creates another higher low, and then pushes to the upside managing to break the resistance level. Once price has broken the zone, and confirmed it with a strong bullish price action, we can enter our long trade following the main trend. To calculate the target of the trade, we simply need to calculate the initial bullish push before the pattern, and double it after the breakout. Hello traders, in this video we are going to analyze the bearish descending triangle. The descending triangle is a bearish chart pattern, that is found during a continuation of a downtrend, and it is made up of a horizontal support line, and a diagonal resistance line. The descending triangle is a consolidation pattern where the lows remain the same, whilst the highs consistently move lower, until they become very close to the lows, and eventually break the support level for a trend continuation. By looking at the chart, we can see that price is moving downwards, until it reaches its first rejection at the support level. Price then heads to the upside creating a lower high. Once again, price moves to the downside, and finds rejection at the same support level as before. Price then retraces to the upside, and creates another lower high. Price pushes back to the downside, but still can't break the support level. Price then moves upwards, creates another lower high, and then pushes to the downside managing to break the support level. Once price has broken the zone, and confirmed it with a strong bearish price action, we can enter our short trade following the main trend. To calculate the target of the trade, we simply need to calculate the initial bearish push before the pattern, and double it after the breakout. Hello traders, in this video we are going to analyze the symmetrical triangle. The symmetrical triangle is a consolidation chart pattern, where both the highs and the lows get nearer to each other. There is no straight line in the pattern, like in the ascending or descending triangle, but instead there are two diagonal lines, that represent the resistance and the support level. A symmetrical triangle, can either be a continuation or reversal chart pattern. When the symmetrical triangle is found during a strong bearish trend, then price will be likely to break the pattern and continue its downward trend. When the symmetrical triangle is found during a strong bullish trend, then price will be likely to break the patterns and continue its upward trend. When the symmetrical triangle is found after a range of consolidation, it can break out in both directions. It is vital to wait for price action confirmation, after the breakout of the pattern, and before entering a trade. Let's see a bearish example of the symmetrical triangle pattern. 
By looking at the chart, we can see that price is moving in a triangle, forming lower highs and higher lows. Price pushes down creating a higher low, then pushes up again creating a lower high. Price manages to break the support level with strong bearish pressure. Price retraces and confirms the breakout, with good price action confirmation. We can then open the short trade after the confirmation. To calculate the target of the trade, we simply need to calculate the initial bearish push before the start of the pattern, and double it after the breakout. Let's see a bullish example of the symmetrical triangle pattern. By looking at the chart, we can see that price is moving in a triangle, forming lower highs and higher lows. Price pushes up creating a lower high, then pushes down again creating a higher low. Price squeezes between the support and the resistance levels, and manages to break the resistance level with strong bullish pressure. Price retraces and confirms the breakout, with good price action confirmation. We can then open the long trade after the confirmation. To calculate the target of the trade, we simply need to calculate the initial bullish push before the start of the pattern, and double it after the breakout. Hello traders, in this video we are going to learn how to trade bullish trend flag patterns. Bullish flag patterns are bullish continuation trend patterns. As we can see on the chart, price is moving in an uptrend, creating higher highs and higher lows. Price moves in waves, and will eventually reach minor resistance zones creating bearish retracements. The retracement is not linear, but instead, price creates a diagonal counter consolidation range. Price fluctuates in a counter diagonal support and resistance level, creating what is known as a flag continuation pattern. Once price breaks the flag to the upside, this is a signal to buy the asset for a continuation of the trend. Flags are found during strong trends, so in these cases it is not suggested to open short-term bearish trades. It is only suggested to trade with the trend, once price has fully broken out the flag pattern. Always wait for price closure before entering a trade, never anticipate the formation of a candlestick, because it may close differently within the last minutes. To calculate the target of the trade, you simply need to calculate the distance of the bullish push, before the formation of the flag, and double it after the breakout of the flag pattern. Hello traders, in this video we are going to learn how to trade bearish trend flag patterns. Bearish flag patterns are bearish continuation trend patterns. As we can see on the chart, price is moving in a downtrend, creating lower highs and lower lows. Price moves in waves, and will eventually reach minor support zones creating bullish retracements. The retracement is not linear, but instead, price creates a diagonal counter consolidation range. Price fluctuates in a counter diagonal support and resistance level, creating what is known as a flag continuation pattern. Once price breaks the flag to the downside, this is a signal to sell the asset for a continuation of the trend. Flags are found during strong trends, so in these cases it is not suggested to open short-term bullish trades. It is only suggested to trade with the trend, once price has fully broken out the flag pattern. Always wait for price closure before entering a trade, never anticipate the formation of a candlestick, because it may close differently within the last minutes. To calculate the target of the trade, you simply need to calculate the distance of the bearish push, before the formation of the flag, and double it after the breakout of the flag pattern. Hello traders, today we are going to look at the descending wedge found during a bullish trend. The descending wedge found in a bullish trend, represents a potential trend continuation to the upside. As we may see on the chart, price is moving in an uptrend, and eventually it starts to trend within a wedge, with price movements becoming smaller and smaller. Within the wedge, price creates lower highs and lower lows, even though the pattern is becoming smaller and smaller towards the end. Price squeezes in the last part of the wedge, until it eventually breaks out to the upside. When price breaks the pattern, we can enter a bullish trade for a trend continuation. The target for the trade will be a major resistance level, linked with a strong price key level. Hello traders, today we are going to look at the ascending wedge found during a bearish trend. The ascending wedge, found in a bearish trend, represents a potential trend continuation to the downside. As we may see on the chart, price is moving in a downtrend, and eventually it starts to trend within a wedge, with price movements becoming smaller and smaller. Within the wedge, price creates higher highs and higher lows, even though the pattern is becoming smaller and smaller towards the end. Price squeezes in the last part of the wedge, until it eventually breaks out to the downside. When price breaks the pattern, we can enter a bearish trade for a trend continuation. The target for the trade will be a major support level, linked with a strong price key level. 
Hello traders, in this video we are going to learn how to trade pennants in a bullish trend. Bullish pennants are bullish continuation chart patterns. As we can see on the chart, price is moving in an uptrend, creating higher highs and higher lows. Price moves to the upside, and will then reach minor resistance zones, that will reject price and start short retracements. The pennant is very similar to a flag pattern, but instead of being a diagonal rectangle, it is formed like a symmetrical triangle. The retracement is not linear, but instead, price is trapped between the symmetrical triangle, with lower highs and higher lows, that squeeze together until price breaks out. The pennant is very similar to a symmetrical triangle, the main differences between the two, is that a pennant is much smaller in volume, and it always represents a continuation of the main trend. Once price breaks the pennant to the upside, this is a signal to buy the asset for a continuation of the trend. Pennants are found during strong trends, so in these cases it is not suggested to open short-term bearish trades. It is only suggested to trade with the trend, once price has fully broken out the pennant pattern. Always wait for price closure before entering a trade, never anticipate the formation of a candlestick, because it may close differently within the last minutes. To calculate the target of the trade, you simply need to calculate the distance of the bullish push, before the formation of the pennant, and double it after the breakout of the pennant pattern. Hello traders, in this video we are going to learn how to trade pennants in a bearish trend. Bearish pennants are bearish continuation chart patterns. As we can see on the chart, price is moving in a downtrend, creating lower highs and lower lows. Price moves to the downside, and will then reach minor support zones, that will reject price and start short retracements. The pennant is very similar to a flag pattern, but instead of being a diagonal rectangle, it is formed like a symmetrical triangle. The retracement is not linear, but instead, price is trapped between the symmetrical triangle, with lower highs and higher lows, that squeeze together until price breaks out. The pennant is very similar to a symmetrical triangle, the main differences between the two, is that a pennant is much smaller in volume, and it always represents a continuation of the main trend. Once price breaks the pennant to the downside, this is a signal to sell the asset for a continuation of the trend. Pennants are found during strong trends, so in these cases it is not suggested to open short-term bullish trades. It is only suggested to trade with the trend, once price has fully broken out the pennant pattern. Always wait for price closure before entering a trade, never anticipate the formation of a candlestick, because it may close differently within the last minutes. To calculate the target of the trade, you simply need to calculate the distance of the bearish push, before the formation of the pennant, and double it after the breakout of the pennant pattern. Hello traders, in this video we are going to learn how to trade rectangles in a bullish trend. Bullish rectangles are bullish continuation chart patterns. As we can see on the chart, price is moving in an uptrend, creating higher highs and higher lows. Price moves in waves, and will eventually reach minor resistance zones creating smaller bearish retracements. The rectangle pattern is horizontal, and price fluctuates in a small consolidation range. Price is trapped between a support and resistance level, creating what is known as a rectangle continuation pattern. Once price breaks the rectangle to the upside, this is a signal to buy the asset for a continuation of the trend. Rectangles are found during strong trends, so in these cases it is not suggested to open short-term bearish trades. It is only suggested to trade with the trend, once price has fully broken out the rectangle pattern. Always wait for price closure before entering a trade, never anticipate the formation of a candlestick, because it may close differently within the last minutes. To calculate the target of the trade, you simply need to calculate the distance of the bullish push, before the formation of the rectangle, and double it after the breakout of the rectangle pattern. Hello traders, in this video we are going to learn how to trade rectangles in a bearish trend. Bearish rectangles are bearish continuation chart patterns. As we can see on the chart, price is moving in a downtrend, creating lower highs and lower lows. Price moves in waves, and will eventually reach minor support zones creating smaller bullish retracements. The rectangle pattern is horizontal, and price fluctuates in a small consolidation range. Price is trapped between a support and resistance level, creating what is known as a rectangle continuation pattern. Once price breaks the rectangle to the downside, this is a signal to sell the asset for a continuation of the trend. Rectangles are found during strong trends, so in these cases it is not suggested to open short-term bullish trades. It is only suggested to trade with the trend, once price has fully broken out the rectangle pattern. Always wait for price closure before entering a trade, never anticipate the formation of a candlestick, because it may close differently within the last minutes. 
To calculate the target of the trade, you simply need to calculate the distance of the bearish push, before the formation of the rectangle, and double it after the breakout of the rectangle pattern. Hello traders, in this video we are going to analyze the cup and handle chart pattern. The cup and handle chart pattern is a continuation pattern, that gathers liquidity before pushing again with the main trend. As we may see on the chart, price is moving upwards in a bullish trend. It will then reach a major resistance level that will form the neckline of the pattern. Price then will start moving to the downside in waves, creating lower highs and lower lows. Price will then reach a major support zone, and start a reversal creating higher highs and higher lows. These waves of consolidation will form a semicircle, also known as the cup of the pattern. Price then pushes to the upside reaching the neckline, but the momentum is still not strong enough to break the level. Price retraces one last time, creating a smaller semicircle, known as the handle, before eventually breaking the pattern. Price pushes again to the upside, breaks the neckline, and then retests the new support level before continuing with its main trend. We can enter a first trade after the bullish confirmation in the handle, and a second trade after the bullish retest of the new support level. To calculate the target of the trade, we need to measure the previous push, before the formation of the pattern, and double it after price has broken the neckline. Hello traders, in this video we are going to analyze the inverse cup and handle chart pattern. The inverse cup and handle chart pattern is a continuation pattern, that gathers liquidity before pushing again with the main trend. As we may see on the chart, price is moving downwards in a bearish trend. It will then reach a major support level, that will form the neckline of the pattern. Price then will start moving to the upside in waves, creating higher highs and higher lows. Price will then reach a major resistance zone, and start a reversal creating lower highs and lower lows. These waves of consolidation will form a semicircle, also known as the cup of the pattern. Price then pushes to the downside reaching the neckline, but the momentum is still not strong enough to break the level. Price retraces one last time, creating a smaller semicircle, known as the handle, before eventually breaking the pattern. Price pushes again to the downside, breaks the neckline, and then retests the new resistance level before continuing with its main trend. We can enter a first trade after the bearish confirmation in the handle, and a second trade after the bearish retest of the new resistance level. To calculate the target of the trade, we need to measure the previous bearish push, before the formation of the pattern, and double it after price has broken the neckline. 